I'd like to quickly show you how I made a video game on the Commodore 64. I started with some basic stuff, poking machine language into memory, making a sprite move around. Here's another basic program I wrote to uh, control a player cannon back and forth with some inertia. That's kind of cool. Next thing I did is I worked on some custom characters, and here I am poking them to the screen and moving them around. And this is sped up. Basic won't do it this fast, but it's a concept. After talking with my friend Robin, I decided to make things much simpler and concentrate not on Space Invaders, but a simple game. And so in a couple days, I whipped up a basic uh, video game here. I've got the player controlling a cannon, shooting, mothership coming back and forth, and because it's incredibly slow and I'm using the Vice emulator, I can switch into warp mode and see that I've got a bit of a playable game going on here. So this is encouraging. Here we are playing with some sound. Yeah, this sounds pretty weird. Let's speed it up and uh, yeah, I've got like a good template for my machine language game. So firing up Turbo Macro Pro. Doing some assembly, doing some machine code here, and what do I do for the first thing? I put a sprite on the screen. Yay! And then I move that sprite across the screen. Join with a little glitchy cannon down there, but I fixed it up. That's much better. Testing uh, the joystick. Getting the second player. Um, ready to go. Uh, a couple days later I'm actually using two joysticks to control the two player cannons moving back and forth and a day later they're bouncing off each other in the sides of the screen and shooting lasers up the screen so that's pretty cool. Yeah sometimes they get stuck but I worked that out eventually. Not too much later I've got a working game basically. Um, we're bouncing, we're shooting, two player action, the Invaders coming down the screen, it reaches the bottom, the game ends. I'm pretty encouraged with how things are going. Next thing I do is I uh, work things out so that either one player can start or two players can start a game, so single player or two player game. And then the invader starts speeding up the more you hit it so that eventually every player meets their doom. Working on some binary coded decimal here, just adding up lots of numbers because keeping track of score with hex or binary data, that's just really difficult. Things were looking a little bit weird, so I put this row of numbers down the side so I can see what's going on with the invader. I also brought in that binary coded decimal for the scores. Worked out a routine to display large blocks of text on the screen. And by early February, I've got a one two player game that's really working pretty well in the last 20% of things. Well, you don't see a lot of changes, but uh, it's a lot of work. Hey, sweep that cannon off the screen. So, look at this. I've got a flashy title screen with some colors. I add a game over effect after the invader sweeps the cannons off the screen. And this is really embarrassing, how I was calculating the scores. Like a gigantic if-then-else uh, thing going on here. Oh, it's terrible. Every Commodore 64 game needs a scroller, so I've got one. And it's very, very chunky. And, oh, there's, there's some mistakes with this, but I worked it out later on. Hey, some sound. Look at that. Bing, bing. Now, I'm working on getting my custom characters in. And I did something wrong here, but that's okay. I'm learning, right? Beginning of March, I show my game at the Thunder Bay Retro Computer Club. I've got the custom characters in there. I've got twinkling stars. It's pseudo-random with the linear feedback shift register. I've got a stats bar at the bottom. The game is basically done. And then Robin invites me to come on his YouTube show, 8-Bit Show and Tell. So, of course, I coded Explosion that afternoon just before we went to record. There's a bit of a bug going on there. So that was the last big thing that I needed to squash before releasing it. So May 17th, 2019. 
here it is. Invader, my first Commodore 64 machine language video game, ready to share it with you. I hope that you'll download it, give it a try, let me know if you like it. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out for my first project, and I hope that maybe this inspires you if you've always wanted to try your hand at Commodore 64 video games, either basic or machine language. It can be done. You can learn it. You can do it. Download it at darrenfolds.com, and thanks for watching.